If you are using manual MQTT entries in your Home Assistant configuration and have recently updated Home Assistant to the latest version, you would definitely be getting these MQTT error messages in Home Assistant settings page that tells you to fix the errors before you upgrade to version 2022.12 or it will break all your manual MQTT entities. So how to fix these errors? Keep watching. Home Assistant developers had introduced a separate platform for MQTT from version 2022.6. If you are using any manually configured MQTT sensor or MQTT switch or MQTT binary sensor, you need to move them under MQTT platform before 2022.12 release. For that, I suggest you to first create a new file named mqtt.yaml in your home assistant config folder. My way of doing it is to copy any existing YAML file and paste it back. It will create a copy of the original file. Now rename this file as MQTT. Now open this file in a text editor. Select all the existing contents and delete them. Now open the configuration.yaml file and include the newly created MQTT.yaml file here. The next step is to locate the MQTT sensor entries in your configuration.yaml file or in sensors.yaml file. Select all these entries, cut and paste them in mqtt.yaml file. Now delete the platform colon mqtt line from the sensor configuration and move the next line to its place. Be careful not to alter the indentation here. Finally, this new sensor configuration should look similar to this. Repeat the same for all the remaining MQTT sensor entities. Similarly, you need to bring all your manually configured MQTT binary sensors as well as MQTT switch entries to this MQTT.yaml file and edit them in the same way. They should also look similar to these entries. Once done, save the files, go to developer tools and check configuration for any unwanted errors. If everything is valid, restart Home Assistant. Upon restart, all MQTT errors would have disappeared. Great! So this was a short video to fix MQTT error messages. Hope you learned something new today. Stay connected for more such videos to enhance your home automation experience with me. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.